What a year it's been, with everyone from cheerleaders to football players, soccer players and others wearing masks to protect others against droplets held in their breath that might carry the COVID virus. The mask requirement affected thousands of players around Oregon in every sport. Now it's gone for the most part for outdoor athletes. Nora Dulong plays fast pitch softball year round. She said the mask was hot during the games. She will not miss it. I was really excited <laughs> because uh, especially at pitcher, you're working hard every single pitch. So it's definitely going to be nice. Her mom Kelly is Nora's coach. They're also my neighbors. I'm very excited for the kids. I feel extremely sorry for the catchers and the pitchers that are in these more high stress, high equipment situations. So I'm excited for them to get to be able to breathe and not worry about one more thing um, outside. Some athletes will still want to wear a mask outside and that's okay too. And parents might be asked to mask up when they gather in big crowds to watch the games depending on where they live. High school spring sports are ending this week. A tough break with the mask rule coming on the last day of track at the Portland area schools. Or it's great timing if you're a kid who wanted to perform their best at the last last day. Marshall Haskins is athletic director for the Portland Interscholastic League. With the traditional spring sports ending, winter sports, including basketball, are beginning. Because they're inside, players this week have had to wear the masks even during games. Seems like it's hard to run up and down a basketball court wearing a mask. I would say I went to a couple games yesterday and kids were out playing and I guess they're a little more resilient than we are. <laughs> and so they're out there playing and they were playing, talking, shooting, running, jumping. But as vaccination rates go up and new COVID cases continue to fall, the rules both outside and inside will likely continue to ease up. The changes so far are being greeted all around the state. Brian Armstrong is the athletic director at South Salem High School. That the fact that kids now have the opportunity to be outdoors and it's their personal choice to wear a mask or not to wear a mask, I think that's that's great. That allows that personal decision to happen. And I think that, um, you know, I think it's proving that we're going in the right direction.